All right, so we are recording. And so uh, any updates on 11.4 before we, oh, sorry, the demo stuff. Let, let's do that first. I, uh, I can do it as first. I have it prepared this time. So yeah. I'm just Go going ahead. to share my screen. Uh, where it is here. So I will first share the autocomplete commands for epics. So right now here I am in some epic. Come on, or something. Yeah, okay. And now when I click slash, I get some commands that are supported for epics. So I can try to change title to um, title. And additionally, I can close the epic. And you can see when I reload, the epic is closed and the title is here. So that's simple. And second one is the short references. Do we have the, sorry, Yarka, do you have system yes. notes showing for closing? Uh, no, that's out of scope for that issue. Okay. We have, okay. We have planned it for next release, I think. Okay, thank you. And then the second one. I have to switch branches. Okay. So I have to go to issues now. It's reloading code, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's slow. Okay, finally. So now I go to some issue. And you can see that I can use just short reference here. And that links me to the to this issue. No, not on to this issue, but to issue five in the same group. It's loading again. But you can see here that's the same group, epics, and it's epic five. If I uh, write the whole URL, it will be rendered as short reference again and i can also use it for assigning this issue to an epic so it's it's been added to this epic yeah and that's it and the system uh, note is created on the other side as well yeah that, that hasn't been changed so it should be if not, then we have old bug there, but let's check. Yeah, it's here. Awesome. Yeah, and then there's a bug that was, well, not bug. I don't know if it's bug. That, that's been fixed too. The, the the link on the other page that you were just at, your Chantal, I think, fixed that one, right? That that being a link was... It's this link? Yeah, this link is wasn't a link before, or it's not a link in production. Okay. It's now link, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. you can see the first example, like the first system note there oh, a, week a week ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. So that was changed, merged recently. Um, so that's great. Okay, so awesome. that's all yeah. from my side, if you don't have any questions. any Anything else from you, Kishal, or should we move on to look at 11.4 stuff? 
so uh, no, uh, the epic that I created to do the refactoring, uh, I already mentioned it in our channel. Uh, like I broke the entire effort down into four issues. And uh, I have scheduled the very first issue for it uh, in 11.5. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be creating the shell part. <clears throat> and uh, I've already discussed uh, the approach of how we want to architect it with Phil. Uh, because uh, as you mentioned, both uh, me and Phil in the issue where uh, the sidebar concern was there. Like uh, we are not having a unified uh, sidebar across all three contexts. So the idea of during the epic refactoring is that uh, I'll, I'll be creating a shared sidebar uh, that can be reused for both issues and MRs at later point. But at least we'll get the foundation uh, laid for it so that we have a sidebar to begin with. And then later when we do schedule the refactoring of sidebar for issues and MRs, we can reuse the component as it is. So that is the only update. So I've already started working on that shell part. And uh, as, as a part of the first issue, I'll be uh, doing that uh, develop, develop a flag as well, which would basically allow anyone to test the new app locally. Uh, obviously, it will be turned off by default, at least for 11.5. And once we have the entire thing ready, uh, we'll just sucking the old app into the new one. That's great. That's awesome. Thanks, Kushal. So yeah, no, let, let's revisit that when we uh, talk about 11.5 in two seconds, um, but really wanted quickly to confirm um, this is uh, Chantelle was having some trouble with this so so I asked her just to talk to Sean so don't I don't think it's it's for you or she might have talked to you already Yaka but don't worry about this one uh, so this one these two you just uh, demoed is that correct Yaka is that what these two are oh no this one this one not right but this one you just demoed this one so this will be closed when the code is merged, right? You're on mute, Erica. Sorry, I demoed both of them. The quick action to add issue, yeah, and the support auto complete for Epic quick commands as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. This one is the when you do the slash and then. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you did more for this one, so that's great. Well. We got some stuff for free, so that's awesome. Well, okay. I didn't do anything. It was just <laughs> for free. Okay. Um, but uh, so, so you don't see any problems of these being merged in? Uh, no, no, they will. I, I will make sure they are merged in six days. Okay, cool. So we should be able to to wrap up 11.4. That's great. So let's moving on to 11.5. Um, I I put some do. Let's. Okay. Let's look at the first half first. Um, so this one, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the- Do you have this in the board view or? Uh, yes, I don't have it right away, so, but. Uh, I think we should, we should use the board view so we feel the, the, the pain if necessary. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I, I plan. Oh, uh, I, I don't have it in this one, uh, but I can create a new one right away. But um, let, let me double check. Okay, okay. If you don't have this, it's okay. Ah, for, specifically for portfolio management. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. No, but we can do this, right? So we can fine. filter. It, yeah. Yep. Cool. So really good. Okay, and then we also have this. Um. But yeah, so these are the due 20 seconds. Um, not much order in, in the priority order, but, um, but big, yeah, especially since we're a small team. But anyways, uh, so this one's really straightforward. Render close Epix with closed in Markdown. So this is backend, I believe. Um, notifications is a pretty big one. Yeah, I would suggest moving item notification or promote issues to Epic to the out of the due twenty second okay, because wonderful. both both are quite big. Both are quite big, right? Okay, so um, so this one is. I would rather keep. Uh, I would rather move this out of due twenty second. Oh, okay, okay. So let's do that. Okay. So this one involves. Yeah, so there's a lot in this one, right? So there's 
closing and reopening. Um, yeah. And then right now, I, I, uh, yep, and then also the custom. Yeah, and then there's API, so the web API. So, so there's a lot here. Okay. So that, that's, that's this one uh, that is now not here anymore. That's fine. Uh, and then we have system notes that, that Pedro just mentioned we have to fix. We have, and then we have this one and the one after. So let's talk about that secondly. And then so we have promote. So promote, we have a lot here. And so if you look at the, so, so there's a lot of things to do, right, for promoting. So what we wanna do is just the very thin slice, which is just to copy the title, description, and, and activity thread. So I'm hoping that this can be very light on the front end. So there's, a, there's an ongoing discussion about the design. Um, so one really basic design is just to reuse this for for promoting and then if we do this then there's hopefully very little front end work and it's mostly back end work well there's going to be a lot of back end work regardless right because uh, you have to do all this um but then the front end work is um we're, we're, we're talking about how how that can be done um so i'm thinking we can maybe do this as a first iteration and then change the styling later when we do like sub epics and stuff like that but um we can uh, we have ongoing design discussion there. So, so that's that one. So let me, let me pause there. Uh, Yarka, is there, is this like a, as a, like back end wise, is this like, what, what do you think about this one? I don't think it's that complicated, but I think it will take some investigation was the best way to do it and okay. to actually do it. And because it will probably be new services and new, uh, uh, I don't know if API is actually in the scope of the issue. No, no. Okay. So, yeah, I don't think it will be that complicated, but it might involve a lot of discussion during the review. And also there might be some unexpected things because of group versus project context. So Right, right. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I'm just looking if we have API. We don't even have API here. Uh, yeah. Like the same thing goes for uh, the front end part as well. Uh, like as you showed that the button would reveal two options uh, that is moving to a different project or promoting as an epic. So I have to see uh, how much of the sidebar implementation that we already have can be reused for the view app that we currently have. Right. So yeah, again, requires uh, investigation. I'll have to see uh, how the sidebar has it implemented currently. And, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely don't want to get bogged down with the sidebar or the front end in general for this one because we are, um, well, if there's, like, if, if Pedro and Annabelle are, 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 are able to come up with something that they're comfortable with um, that we can reuse, like, for sub-epics and like, I don't know, right? So that, that's why, like, I don't want to, like, spend a lot of time creating something that we will change very soon. So like if it's literally just another button that here that says promote issue, I think that's good enough for this iteration. And then, and then we make it awesome later on. Um, so let me, let, me, let me tell you what I'm saying here. So like if you look at this, um, this is how sub epics may look or will look or whatever, right? So there's this, there's all this stuff in the middle, right? Which is, you know, it, it's gonna be, or let's, uh, something like this right so you know save a little bit more room but you know basically the the meat of the the design is is this stuff in the middle but one thing that Annabelle design is also the stuff on the side so you can see your parents right so if you can see your parents to me this is very similar in concept to promoting so like if you have this and then you have no parents may, maybe you can reuse that or like how does this look in relation to having buttons here that say move issue or promote like to me, it's all related when you have this type of view and then you have an act, you have a button that will essentially change this. So to me, there needs to be a lot of design consideration in that. And so if that cannot be, because I, I even if we come up with something great now, I'm, I'm sure as we implement 
sub epics. We'll, we'll realize some things as, as, as we get feedback, as we use it ourselves. So that's why I don't want to spend like time making it perfect and then, and then having to, to rip it out again. So that's, that's just my high level thoughts on that. Yeah, I think, I think we should do it this, uh, considering what we want to do for the future as well. And that tree, if we're going with the tree as well, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just really not comfortable with putting that button down there. If we were right. going to put it there, it might as well, we might as well just have a quick action uh, because I mean, we're going to do the quick action probably. So to add a new UI element that we have to test and that it's really, I think it's a really shitty solution uh, in terms of like hiding this awesome feature down okay. that move button, uh, which you have to click to even discover that it exists. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I think we still have to, to work on it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I agree with you that we should do this in a, a way that if when we're going after the uh, child ep mm -hmm. epics and parent epics and all of that uh, tree, we should do this more or less knowing what we're going to do. In the we can do, so would you rather just do quick action? We can just throw this all out. I mean, we haven't started it yet. We can still do, we can still do everything here. If you look at it, right? We can do everything here. Like the, the first issue has UI on it right now because that's like the first thing I thought of. But we can change this to a quick action and everything else has, is, has no impact because these are just like backend things that change, right? M maybe we have a banner somewhere, right? But yeah. I mean, the, the, I think the, the quick action is something that we probably do. Um, so well, then let's, I'm saying it's, that it's, then let's do that first. It's, uh, something that is sure, right? Okay. Uh, and, but even uh, what, what I'm trying to say is that uh, because the, um, the milestone, ha oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Because uh, if we, yeah, if we make this good, we, quick we, action, we, then it's full. wait to this and all of that. Um, we yeah. can make this. Let me, let, me talk with, well, let me talk with Annabelle about it today and uh, to see if we can come up with uh, a solution for it. If we see okay. that we still need more time to think about it, the quick action is something that we know works. You know? Right. So let, let so, me. Okay. That, yeah. Sorry, go, go ahead, Pedro. No, no, no. I, I, I was. Yeah, go ahead. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's. How about we just decide that this is a quick action now and then if you come up with a design uh, alternatively then we can say okay let's do a button instead that's a better experience blah 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 more discoverable uh, you know quick actions are pretty discoverable now as well um, but you're right like <laughs> having it down there is like as non-discoverable as a quick action I mean I, th I even think you have a slightly larger resolution than I have so even you had to scroll to see that oh this one yeah yeah and and it would be hidden be behind the drop down, and and yeah, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It, it's it's like a boring solution in the sense that we are reusing something that is already there, but I think that we're reusing something that is already a bad solution. You know what I mean? So when you compound that bad solution, I think okay. yeah. So far, the part of so unless <laughs> exactly <laughs> so unless we come up with uh, uh as, let's give credit to pedro <laughs> no it's it's fine unless we come we're up all thinking about this. um with a better web ui solution now uh, let's do quick action for this issue so Let's let's go. So if we do this, then there's no front end, right? Front. Um, is that is that correct, Yarshal? Kushal? And Kushal? Like, if we just expose the the promote part as a slash command, is it? Yeah. Yeah, in that case, uh, front end wouldn't be changed because uh, the back end commands are pulled and exposed purely via back end. So it would just be an addition to the list of existing commands that we support for any issue. So that would obviously won't be impacting front end in any way. Right, and then everything's well-defined. Like I always have to think about these with epics um, in that 
the, the parent, parent issue, parent group is well defined for issues and not the reverse. So promote issue and project to ethic and group. You can promote only to mirror, blah, blah, blah. Um, so button UI, so quick action using quick action. Maybe, maybe we could also change the title. Oh, it's already been changed. Sorry. Yep. Okay. So I'll just go something like this. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Old uh, UI designs. Or Okay, so great. So everything is saved we have here. Okay, so that, no, that's good. I like that idea. So then that's um, makes it a little bit less scary. Oh, a lot of things disappeared. I don't know if that was correct. Um, this one got, okay, that was weird. Um, blah, blah, blah. And then this one, <clears throat> We have until what time? Okay, we have no half hour. Okay. Um, so this one should be only front end. Is that correct? Uh, Kushal? Yes. Yes, it is. It is uh, purely styling change. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I think. So so I read a couple of issues. So Pedro, did you want? this to be um oh, okay i remember so you said you wanted related issues to be orderable later on right yeah yeah to to use the same to use the same component or whatever like to make it easier uh, but but right now for for this issue let's let's not do that uh, let's just do the okay the front okay, end so, and the, okay so we can yeah we can discuss that separately um if we need to make it I don't think anybody's asking I, for it to be orderable, though, right? So that that's my point. <clears throat> but we can discuss that. No, but yeah, no, but nobody's asking for it. But uh, what we thought, I mean, this is this is open to the discussions yep. still because we we're not going to work on it right now. But uh, it, it might even not make that much sense code-wise to, to because maybe they won't share anything. I don't know. Um, okay. What 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 do you think, Kushal? Do you think uh, related issues and epic issues being both uh, draggable and and reorderable is something that is better front end wise? Does it help somehow to reduce code or not? So uh, in epic, uh, obviously reordering the issues uh, does make sense because uh, in that way we could prioritize which items to take first based on Correct. the order of appearance. But in case of related issues where we open any issue and then add a bunch of issues which are related to that particular issue, I don't Correct. think people are considering any kind of order there. They just add based on whether they recall whether this particular issue is somehow related to this Correct. one. So, but at the same time, uh, appearance of both the UIs uh, within the epics and within the issues is the exact same. I, I wonder how users would perceive it because uh, if, if they are able to drag and drop uh, issues to reorder in epics, but if they couldn't do it in issues list, then it would be confusing for them. Like it looks exact same, mm -hmm. behaves exactly the same, but uh, yeah. I, I'm able to reorder it in one place and cannot reorder it in the other place. So that is yes. The so what, what, we're, what we're arguing is that in terms of experience, it we don't lose an, anything. So it doesn't hurt the experience that both lists are sortable. Uh, even if people never use that feature for related issues, uh, it's there, you know, it's something that, I mean, it, it doesn't hurt. Um, but we, what, what I'm asking is for, in terms of front end, would it help that it's also sortable or would it actually create more code and more logic just to make related issues sortable? Uh, no, no, as far as purely front end is concerned, I think it, it makes sense to have consistency in both the places because we'll be able to share exact same app in both the places. 
right yeah. now i believe that we still do like the exact app that is used to show the list of related issues be it epics or be it within issues is exact same but i think due to lack of back end support in the issue side of things we have turned off uh, the reordering part because chances are that api doesn't support reordering at all which is why we don't have the ability to drag and drop issues within the related issues list but uh, yeah if if api supports it for the issues uh, back end then we might as well enable it for once and then uh, have the consistency both of it okay so yeah essentially what this looks to me is that it's basically a conversation that uh, i mean ux wise i'm up for anything so if we can make it consistent it's it's great if not okay it's not that terrible of a loss but i think it's a conversation that mainly needs to happen between uh, front end and back ends because if from front end you are arguing that for you it could be easier to maintain just a single component for both epic issues and related issues uh, what would be the effort from the back end side if it's if it's a really big effort to maintain uh, the sorting for both lists maybe it's not a, a bridge that we have to cross right now um, i don't know we don't we don't have to decide on it yet it's yeah, just we, something to, we can discuss to we can definitely about. discuss yeah we definitely have a space to discuss on the issue uh, of of this one the follow up issue oh, no no sorry um, on the the follow up issue here or this one so we can discuss there yeah but the Pedro, new elements yep yep but Pedro, i want to i want to uh, get the discussion further beyond related issues and and epic issues and the i think the issue or the discussion should be about this right mm -hmm. like how does this look so that's why i'm anxious for these designs to proceed and and have you and Annabelle drive that um, because to me that that's that's obvious what you just said but it will change again or we should know the design and the intention and so for example promoting issue like i just mentioned there's a stuff in the tree that's not clear how that should look this is like we have some confidence that sub epic should look like this but what happens with sub issues and what happens with blocking issues um i don't even know if it's linked here if it's not that sucks i should link it um yeah but it's here right so we have sub issues and blocking issues, which like we don't have any designs for that yet. Um, mm -hmm. so right now, in theory, each issue could be have three types of relationships: related, blocking, and and parent child. And so, do we mm -hmm. want to keep all three? How does how should that behave? Um, and then that will super impact the design of this. So I think mm -hmm. if we have some clarity on that, then I'll be a lot more confident to say like, oh, like how should it how should it you know move stuff around? So. I'm interested in that as well um, because I think it if it could all look like this somehow that would be great and then you can just drag it around I um, mean it would be mm -hmm. consistent but I don't know if that's like my immediate design would be like you would have like three tabs like you would have like like children issues you would have blocking issues and then you would have related issues right but maybe that's a bad design and they should be rammed together so I have no uh, I idea how that would work Go ahead. So I had I had one quick question. Uh, like uh, when we uh, show this kind of tree in the nesting way, is there a limit on which how much depth the tree would have? There's well, I think I think Annabelle wanted lim a constraint here. Um, I think right now our current thinking is that we just show one level deep, and so you would only show this one, this one, and this one, and you have to click further to go down. Um, I think that makes sense because then it's scalable and stuff like that. And then maybe you have a button that says expand on, but, but like as a, for me, this, a safe first implementation is you always show the first layer with the chevrons and then you click to get to the deeper layers. Um, but again, that, that's like the type of discussion, design discussion we should be having now up front so that um, we can, we can always be aware of like, stuff like this moving around because it's super relevant like like can you move this whole thing around right you can move like we were i was thinking about moving like parts of a tree and then you move trees around and then you have like avl trees or all these stupid computer science trees where you have balancing and stuff like that so you can get to some pretty crazy um use cases so we need to know those designs up front and, and talk about them um, but yeah that, that's what i wanted to bring up 
Um, but yeah, back back to like next iteration is definitely just this one, which is great. And then what's next? Um, we said promoting is a quick action. And then we have some more, I think, cleanup work mostly, which is great. But we still don't have the logic operator, so it's hard to see. Um, but if I'm looking at this, uh, we talked about this one. We talked about notifications. And this one, Pedro said we should do. Um, so it's should definitely do this um, by showing the dates here. So hopefully that's that's not a big one. And then before we talk about uh, auto complete, what is this one? I get this is so confused about this one. Uh, right. So this is auto complete on the epic itself. So we don't get this yet, right, Yarka? This is like we have to do this. We do. Actually... Uh, well, I think someone else from backend team will be assigned to it because okay. all issues that I'll be working on are assigned to me already. So okay, okay. But we okay. don't have it yet, and I think it shouldn't be that complicated. But okay, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. Just wanted to double check if we're missing anything, but. Um, Sounds like that's good. So yeah, no, no. Just do and double check. You you already assigned yourself to these ones. That's great. Uh, and then so there's this one needs some. So there's a lot of messiness with um, this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so Pedro, do you mind that's updating? So <laughs> do you mind updating this one whenever you can? Uh, I, I yeah. Provided the 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 other issue has been. The design has. That's uh, uh, maybe we should link. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Oh, it is okay, because okay. it's exactly the same image. So I thought, it, thought that it was the, the other one. Uh, yeah, exactly. So uh, start point. Okay. Yeah. So I, we, I don't even know if this is done yet. So it doesn't even look. Like so that. the order issues, merge requests. I don't know. I don't have any idea if it's being done or not. Um, I haven't been pinged in any merge okay. requests for it. Uh, it looks like it's Andre working on it. Right. Um, but, but even, I mean, I don't mean, it, it, we were in that discussion, we're just talking about the icon and it, okay. it doesn't mean anything oh, okay, substantial. Just so even, okay. if, even if we implement the wrong icon, so to say, we can, change uh, we can it. just change it. So it's, it's not that bad. Okay. Um, so, so but I, I don't see any activity here in terms of development. I don't know. Okay. No, no, that that's fine. So, um, um, I think we can proceed with this one then, because yeah. they're they're independent. Like we have this as long as we have this consistent design, and I think this one doesn't add the backend support yet, or the backend uh, support yet. Um, maybe. Yes, yeah, so we have this one for epics and roadmaps, and then. Yeah, so right now in epics, we don't have direction, right? We have just, right, we have just one direction. Um, and then this will add both directions. Okay, so that's great. And then this will save it to the backup. Okay, yeah, no, that, that's great that we have this one scheduled. All right, that looks good to me. Um, any, any gotchas there, Kushal and Yarka, for this one? Do you see any problems with that? No? Okay, and then so the, the, this one and this one, Yarka said, well, another backend person will be assigned as, as well as this okay. one. Uh, is there backend, is there front end work for this one? Or is this only backend work? Uh, there is front end work, yes. Oh, there is front, okay. And so, um, so Yarka, you've assigned whatever you have capacity for and then it's up to Sean to schedule the rest or assign the rest. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great, thank you. And then Kushal, for you, um, I don't think there's anything that's not deliverable. This one, this one isn't not, this one's not, not deliverable. Um, for portfolio management, there's a couple of bugs and stuff like that, and that these have already been assigned to. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so there are, sorry, there are some non, uh, this is a migration, this is additional work that, okay, so th this is this is more of the same, that's great. Autocomplete, same thing, so Yarka, you've assigned yourself to one of them and not the other one. Epic attribute, blah, 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 we talked about that one already. Um, yeah, this is the other, it's another one, I think it's the same thing. I thought this was 11.4, but whatever. Um, do, do, are you, are, go ahead, Pedro. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just sorry. Uh, just are, uh, are you going to put the deliverable on those issues or? No, uh, no. I, is, I is it yeah. still in consideration? Yeah, yeah, these are, these are non-deliverable. The, the ones that are non-deliverable are non-deliverable. Again, I can't filter on non-deliverable, so that sucks. Um, but there's like maybe three or four that are non-deliverable and then uh, I think I'll leave them. But I guess the, the question is for Kushal, is there too much, too little here? And I don't think, I thought you said you, you, you did schedule or it's, uh, we're missing some labels on, on the, you said you had at least one, right? For the, uh, the, oh, it's this one, right? Oh no, it's not. This is backend. Uh, Kushal, didn't you say you had one? For yeah, it's backend for the sidebar refactor thingy? Uh, yes, but I haven't uh, scheduled it for 11.5 at least. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do that, right? You're gonna have one of them? Uh, so the one that I have scheduled should be listed in uh, this portfolio management list already. Let me uh, share the link directly to the issue, which I have already uh, scheduled for 11.5. Okay. Because that one itself will be uh, taking some time and the sidebar thing is something that I wouldn't uh, at least schedule it but would still try to cover it halfway through if it is possible and okay. have the branch pushed into the GitLab instead of, you know, getting it merged into the master. Because if I have the bandwidth, once I have finished all the key deliverables for the release, I can focus on that one because I don't want to prioritize the refactoring over the actual features. Right. So right. That, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. But, but at the same time, do, do schedule it to 11.5 so that, yeah. so that, you know, managers can can track it, uh, uh, Andre and, and Sean. Um, sure. So, so anyways, these are your work in a nutshell, Kushal. Is this like too much? This is a, quite a bit, right? Well, I mean, no, they're, they're all here. They're all under this one. So is this too much, too little? I don't think you're going to complain that's too little. <laughs> is, this, uh, is this too many issues or are you comfortable with this? I think it is doable. Okay. We have this thing where like- then for, for backend, I would uh, defer it to Yarka. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Yarka, like- uh, Yeah, I for backend, it's, uh, I assign myself to issues that I am comfortable finishing and other issues Sean has to- Sean will do, yep. Yeah. Okay, and then did you, uh, is that what you, you linked this one, Kushal, is that what? Sorry, my internet, oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, okay, no, no, that's great. So, okay, that's good. So with 20 minutes left, okay, any, any other topics before we close? Just wanted to show you nothing urgent, right? Okay, so, um, so, so I wanted to always show this at more or less um, every time. So this is where we're sitting at. Um, and so we have, we have um, if you look to the end of the year, this is where we're at promoting issues, there's all those things there. Uh, so that's why the reason it's taking so long because I put one issue in each milestone essentially. So we'll, we'll have the feature hopefully after this iteration and then we'll be cleaning it up. I mean, that's a terrible way to put it, but we'll be improving it um, step by step. Um, this one is gonna take some good design, but I wanted to highlight as well this make easier to use one. So let me, um, 
Okay, no, no, this is this is almost done. So that's great. Um, but this one, this one, I wanted to alert people to because I, I'm putting it here for eleven seven right now. Um, so this is basically when you have an epic, you just click this button and you add an issue, right? So you can just type the title and click add. But this is exactly what I didn't think about previously because when you're at the group level and you want to create an issue, you can't, you have to, you have to specify a project, right? So this is exactly what we have for a group board. So um, I thought this would be like super easy, but it's like not super easy, right? Because if you have an epic here, you can just click new epic uh, and then click that and then add it to the epic, right? But for, for uh, create issue, like inside the epic itself, you have to also specify the project. So there's like, then you have to know the project and then you have to load a list of projects from the group. So it's not really, really straightforward um, in the sense that it's, uh, sorry, let me show you what I mean. We have this feature here, which like this, right? So you can choose a project and then click that and then that will do this, right? So I would like something like that, but for, for make it even easier. So, so a better example is the board. So, so I should have showed you the board, sorry. So if you look at the board, uh, oops. If you look at any board, you can do this right now, right? So select the project, type the title, and then submit issue, and then that will create it, and then attach it to this board by pre-applying the label. So we want to do that for at the epic level. So I wanted to mention that is, in my opinion, you know what would be awesome is to. Go ahead, Pedro, or you're coming in and out. You just said, you know what would be awesome, and then you put us. Sorry, my internet is really bad. <laughs> <laughs> my internet is really bad, so I'll say it. I don't know if you will hear me or not, but uh, would be when you're typing in that title input, instead of just typing the title, you could type the title, and then you could put um, labels and milestone and whatever, like quick actions. Um, and then you press enter and it has all of those attributes. Uh, that's actually how I use my um, personal task management tool, which is Remember the Milk. And they have this awesome like line like, input where you can type everything and you type it like with parameters like you would do in a command line interface. Uh, and they just create the to-dos for you with whatever you're typing. Uh, so, and if I want Go ahead, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, go ahead, Pedro. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that uh, if I want to add a description to my task, what I do at the end, I do um, double slash, uh, and then I start typing after the double slash. Um, and so essentially, you have this command line interface in a single input that allows you to do uh, to add issues uh, really easily. And it would be awesome to have that not only in the boards, but also, for example, in this list of issues right. without having to go inside of an issue, just like type, ta, 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 enter, and then it's automatically created. So essentially have a very fast way for us to create issues without having to go through this interface similar to what we do with chat ops and things like that. Yeah, I just wanted to say this. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So that, go ahead, Kushal. Uh, that's what I was mentioning. Like uh, when we create issue or MR, we can use description field to put on all the slash commands that we support. Like instead of opening the labels drop down, we can just while writing the description, we can use slash label and add all the necessary labels that we want to use for that particular issue, along with milestones or assignees or wait, because all the slash commands that we support in typical comment field are also available in description field as well. So in, in that case, we would basically just remove all the knobs and buttons and would replace it with a particular text area where everything can be used via slash commands. Is that uh, what you perceive, Pedro? Uh, no, what I was saying is actually have just one input. So we wouldn't have to switch inputs and it wouldn't be 
like a text area, it would be like if you type a title and then for some reason you uh, mention someone, that mention would be the assignee. It will, will not be a man. And if you add a label there in, the, in that single input, it will be added as a label. It will not be text rendered in the title. You know what I mean? So essentially you type the title first and then you start adding all of the attributes that you want uh, in the same line. Um, yeah, no, I, 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 I totally agree with you, Pedro. I, I really hate this page and I want to get rid of this page, the page you see on the screen, if you, if you can still see our screens, um, Pedro. But the new issue page, I think it's, um, it's a horrible yeah, page. Yeah, I can see it with the 10 second <laughs> delay, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a horrible page in that um, it's, there's a lot of friction. People have to read a lot of stuff. It's also a very powerful page, so it's one of the reasons people won't let us remove it. Um, but I think what you're saying or what's resonating with me at least is that when you create an epic, it's the easiest thing in the world because the only thing that's required is a title um, and same for an issue. Um, but we haven't implemented it for the issue at the project level. But um, I really like the design of an epic, creating an epic because literally that's all you need. So to me, it's, we need the, the simplicity of this but with the power of like this, right? The, the actual issue page. And like what you described, one design like you described is having one text box and you can enter like uh, slash commands or quick actions uh, as they're supposed to be called. Um, so I think, I think we need to do that and figure that out. So if you have great ideas of how to just get rid of this new issue page or a better way to do it in various places, I think we should do it um, but for the for the context of adding an issue to an epic, what I don't like is having to select a project along the way to do so. So if you have a great design to get rid of that or make that really less annoying, um, that would be great. I, I can't think of one. You, you still have to select a project when you create a new issue at the, um, at the epic level. When you click on any epic and you want to just add an issue to it really quickly, um, you can't. So I don't know what to do. So maybe it picks a project for you and then you can move it or I don't know, but, but it's just annoying that you have to pick a project. Um, yeah, I mean, it's good that we already picked the last selected projects in the issues list. So that's less bad, but yeah, I also don't know how to yeah. solve that without relying on people yeah. remembering the uh, which uh, which is the the, the path name uh, exactly. the, the project slug and things like that if you yeah. if you check that link that I, I put in the chat it, it will quickly show you what what I was uh, sharing um, and how it works it has like all of these steps like the first one is the title right and you can add the due date priority and then all the way at the bottom you see how everything can be done yep Yep, this is great. This is just, a, yeah, so this is combining the slash command into the title field itself. I mean, that could be like a... Yeah, and then, yeah. And then just press enter and it's done. The task is added. This is what I always do. And I actually use this with um, uh, Alfred plugin. So it's, it's like similar to Spotlight. So anywhere I am in whatever app, I just open and it's connected to the API. So I create tasks for myself using that uh, kind of um, yeah, no, this short is a, hand version. This, is, uh, this should be a feature request. And if this, and this should be, a, so support quick actions in title field. So uh, in Epix issues, MR support quick actions just like this app, uh, use case, uh, sometimes uh, in GitLab, you can create an object without the description uh, box. So we should support quick action. I'm just gonna log this issue. I, I don't think we yeah. can do it right away there as well. I don't think we can do it right away. Well, uh, 
I don't know, maybe we could, but there's like, we should just log these ideas in general. Um, okay, anything else before I- Thank you, Victor. Yeah, sure, no, 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 this is, I think this is a good idea, I, I like it. Because I, 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 any, any way to get rid of, or to, to get people to stop relying on that new issue page, which is a pain. Like another concept I have is that when you, cre when you create a new issue, it's like it loads and then there's too much crap here, like making this hidden or like making this not a new page or like when you click this, it's like a, a modal pops up or, or anything like that would be, would be better than right now. This is like a horrible experience, I think. Um, it's the only place in the plan team, if you think about it, where it's its own page. Because since, since we don't do merge requests anymore, we don't have to worry about the, the equivalent merge request. But if you think about in the rest of plan, like if, if you're on the plan team, which people are on this call, look at all the um, things that you're responsible or we're, we're responsible for. There's not a lot of pages where we have a new form or like an edit form. And the places that have this are issues labels um, and like milestones, right? So, so with labels, you have this really horrible thing where you do like this. I, I hate this page, like why, why, why do we need this page, right? And then milestones are, are marginally less bad because um, you, you, can, you can, there's content in the milestone itself, right? Um, so usually you can't get rid of a list page. So, but you have this and there's content, so it's less bad, but this is a terrible page as well. So we have like only three of them, which is not that bad. There's the, there's the label, there's the milestone, and then there's the, the new issue one. Um, cause we got rid of the edit issue one, if you think about it. Right. So that's yeah. also yeah. awesome. Right. And we also, we never had the edit. Um, we never had the edit, uh, Epic one, so there's no edit issue page, right? We just have this, which is super awesome, right? So any ideas to get rid of those three legacy horrible experiences would be great um, because then, um, like I think merge requests, merge requests definitely have it and it's a lot harder for merge requests to get rid of it because there's like four or five states with crazy merge requests with like branches and stuff like that. Um, and then there's all these horrible settings pages and I don't know the rest of GitLab well enough to know like, um, those things, but I, I really hate these edit pages because it's not, it's not a web app. It's like a website, which, which sucks. Okay. So I'm done my rant. Any, anything else? Stop sharing. Uh, if not, I will talk to you folks next time. See you. Bye. All right. Bye okay, thank you. Bye.